It's been a minute. It's been a long minute. I'm not wanting to start out this way. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, or I guess I should welcome myself back to my channel. It has been months since I have been able to record. Um, I know we have a lot of new subscribers, so welcome. And for the ones that have already been subscribed, thank you so much for sticking with me. Um, Cars going by, but it's it's been a it's been a journey. It's been a journey, and I am super happy to be here recording today. I feel a little bit out of my element, so if I'm just kind of like blubbering all by myself like I normally do, then please forgive me. Yeah, I don't have anything specific. I don't even have a specific look. I just felt really good today, and I wanted to get in front of the camera because I do miss it. And um, yeah, I just thought it would be, it would be, it was be what, is, what is even that word? I thought it would be a good day to record. So here we go. So let's just talk about, you know, what have I been doing? I have been, excuse me, working. I'm getting another business off the ground. So that takes a lot of time. Um, but in terms, I am hot. Yeah, so that's still happening, but just because I don't have any fans or anything going on in here. Um, I think the last time in a lot of my videos, you guys saw that I was like dealing with hot flashes. Well, that has ceased not that I'm not going through perimenopause, but it has ceased because I started taking magnesium pills, like the ones you get from um, Walgreens or CVS. So I started taking those, and that just completely eliminated my hot flashes. So if you see me getting hot, it's just because I don't have a fan on, and this room is like enclosed. And so, yeah, that's kind of what's, what's been going on with that. Um, have I been buying makeup? Yes, have I forgot some? Actually, I'm gonna showcase one of the new things I just bought, which is the Bobbi Brown um, Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, and it does have SPF in it. So I'm gonna try that today. I don't. I tried it on in store because now you know Sephora has some of the things back on the testers that you can kind of dab or whatever. So um, so I do have that, um, and some other little things that I've been picking up. I've got another video that I'm going to be doing where I'm basically showing you um, a lot of my empty bottles and things that I keep repurchasing. I think that would be like really nice. And some other cool things that I've um, come across that I think will be very helpful to people on, on this channel. Personally, I did get the vaccination and I didn't have any issues. So did my husband. Um, we've got young adults. My daughter's getting ready to go to college. My son's already in college. They have not received it yet. Um, so I'm not sure how schools are going to go about that in terms of the kids are going to have to do it before, you know, they're able to stay on campus and that sort of thing. I don't know. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow, and this is in the shade 6. So my brows are not super thin, but... I do like to have them kind of full. I think it makes, you know, for a youthful face. Yeah. So I'm getting over maxne, maxne, maskne. I can't say that word. Mas maskne, maskne. I'm getting over that, but it's been, oh Lord. Like all along, like here, all along my jawline. Oh, that's already there but that one like all around the jawline that's been a nightmare just trying to find one that won't you know break you out um but in terms of me filming it's really been i guess more mental um because when i come on here i don't you know i want to be real and authentic but at the same time i want to have energy i want to be able to connect with you guys um you know because anxiety and depression is like real. Doesn't matter what you got going on, you know, it needs to be acknowledged. Um, you know, other people's trauma can really impact your life. Um, and I've, I, I, you know, I've, I've dealt with that and just, you know, things that have gone on in my own life. So, did that really just break? I feel like I haven't done makeup in so long, like on myself. I feel like, you know, I'm almost like new to it again. 
I've got a lot of responses and questions about, you know, where I've been and things and concerns. And I just really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. It really, really does mean a lot. Again, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I'm using this palette. It's kind of like funky looking. Because I've been using it on myself and my daughter. I got to get a new one. Let's talk about something I do get a lot of questions on. And that is how to conceal under eye circles. So, what I wouldn't do, like if you have really dark under eye circles, and a lot of times that could be from like a sleep medication, um, that could be um, hereditary, people just generally just have it for no apparent reason, nothing else being wrong, they just have it. A lot of times when you try to put something lighter on it, it doesn't work, you have to um, color correct that you have to balance out that color so instead of getting a brighter under eye concealer just use like an orange color under there and it'll help to neutralize that color um, trying to get back into reading books again because I had just kind of I was buying books and I just wasn't even in a headspace to even read the books Here you let me tell you. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just wanted to talk to you guys and just like do some makeup. Um, just do some makeup. And it feels weird because I, I just haven't been doing it. And so now it feels a little weird like placement. You really can lose some stuff. You're like, oh my God. Like the skill set. That's why I'm like, I have to get back on it. Learning the new techniques and stuff like that. Because these young people will teach you some stuff. <laughs> they will teach you some stuff. Because I'm like, how did they figure that out? Because I. Mm. But it worked. I am a lifelong learner. So whoever I can get the information from and however I can learn it, I'm with it. I'm never going to be like, oh, no, they're too young. They can't teach me nothing. You better listen to these young folks. Maybe no one. <laughs> you might just want to learn how to do it better on yourself. And they might come with a new technique. You know, we might be doing something that can age us. You know, that's pretty dated. You don't want that, do ya? What do ya? Um, this is the, oh, I don't wipe, I don't wipe the uh, stuff off of the... Benefit Gimme Brow, and this the shade even wiped off. I think it's five, but I just got a bigger one. This is a little sample one. Um, it's like a gel, and it also lightens your brows. I love it. This is also something that I have repurchased several times. I hope my brows look even, because I miss you guys. <laughs> I miss you guys like I do. So I'm getting into, I know I'm all over the place. I'm getting into um, like uh, like bohemian style clothes. My best friend was like, you look really polished when you do dress. But I'm kind of, I like that look, but also probably too because of COVID and my, you know, me gaining 15, 20 pounds, you know, gearing to stuff that's, <laughs> that's a little bit looser because I swear for God. Why does the weight go to my gut? Like, it likes it there. It's comfortable. It's made a home. It's just like, it's been welcomed and, and it's got to go. I want to evict it. It's, it's got to go. I hate it. I'm using a darker color on top, like the darkest shade here on top, just so I don't have halo brow. I guess I'll use this for Sally's Skin Tune Blur. Still have that, so I'm going to use it up. It does work. It does work. It's actually it's actually really good. It's a little pricey, but it actually is really good. I don't like my eyebrow. Like it's too square. It's not enough of an arch. Like my arch is low. What the heck is going on? <sighs> Normally, see, look, I wouldn't even set my uh, lids. They're creasing. I haven't even done that, and I know to do that. I just want to come on here and just show you this is what happens when you won't do it for a while. Like, I know to set my lid. I can't believe I didn't even do that. But let's just do it now. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be setting this with the 
uh, Veil Translucent Setting uh, Powder by um, is it Veil? the Hourglass. Okay. Like, I know how to do that. Like, seriously? I'm going to use this um, Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Makeup is not coming off. Like, it's not. Nope, it is not. Speaking of makeup not coming off, have you guys tried that Maybelline? Is it the Maybelline Superstay uh, lipstick? <sighs> when I tell you that stuff don't come off. Okay, let's just make it simple. We're gonna use the chocolate by Juvia's Place, the chocolate palette. It looks like that. Cause it's gonna be simple. Simple, simple, simple. All right, so let's just do this. I raise my eyes up because, you know, you get that fatty tissue there. And so if I'm working on somebody, I'm going to lift that up anyway. So if you can't lift it up, just kind of hold your head back, raise your eyebrows up. I keep looking over here because my screen is over here. And I want to make sure that if it stops recording, I can just put a new battery in. Fluffy brush. So I'm kind of creating depth here. And this is the Morphe M441. It's got a really big fluffy tip on it. So I like that. I like that. It's gonna be real simple. Up. And this, you don't have to, it's not like an exact placement. You just start. Getting it in there, look at that. Cause you're kind of creating some depth. <sighs> Add a little bit more. Use a light touch. Light touch, like don't be down here like you're gonna draw it on. Soft hands, soft hands, and just all the way to the end. The the further I get, the way you hold it. You know, just deal with control. People have different ways of holding their brush, but this has been what works for me. Okay, so we got that. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do a halo look, so I don't know if I wanna use that color. And it looks like this. That's pretty. Or this color, and it looks like what? Maybe I'll use both. Okay, so I'm going to use both. And that one, I'm literally just going to put it in the middle. Am I going to use both? I don't know. Right in the middle of my eye. I'm using my finger. So I'll just go in with a different finger and just kind of pat it on there too. Now I need a small brush and it's more like a pencil. See, it's a lot smaller versus the one I was just using. So this is gonna allow me to put more color onto my lid. So it's a little bit more denser. And um, I'm gonna go in with this dark shade here. Let's see what color it is, but it's only six colors. If you do have this palette or something similar. And I'm just going to see how much darker that is. Ooh. Getting it on the corners. The inner corner. And then you blend the two colors together. I, the only thing is I wish this had a, a mirror so you can see. My eyesight is like jacked up in one eye. This definitely allows you more placement. And then also you see how my hand is like further down on the barrel. It's not on the end because I really want to be a little bit more precise in where I'm putting it. And you see like the, the original color that I used. No, it's the wrong one. This one here. 
that orangey color allows for some warmth and it's like on the outside of the shadow. I'm going to just add like a touch of the black just a dab just just, do, 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 just a little bit just to deepen it up a little bit. I remember when I first started doing makeup and I'm like what 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 are you girl look uh -huh. You have to rewind the video and then try it again. And it's like, it's not coming out like that. And, and then I had to realize, okay, maybe her eye shape is different than mine. Um, this could be a lot of possibilities. I want to use that same brush, but I'm going to go in with this uh, color switch. It's by Sephora. And I can just go in and take all that color off because I want to be able to blend um, the middle, the brighter color in the middle. I'm going to blend that with the two darker shades on the end. So... I'm using this to just make sure they're kind of blended together so there's no harsh lines. It's like when you look down, it's cute. It's cute or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it's cute. All right. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and throw on some lashes. And the lashes that I'm going to be putting on are the 3D Faux Mink Lashes by Ardell. So I'm going to pop these on and I'll be right back. Okay, I have my lashes on. So now let's get to the rest of the face. So like I said before at the beginning, I'm going to be trying out this Bobbi Brown. I just swiped it on my chest when I was in the store. So I don't know what it's going to do on my face. So I don't know. Somebody, one, one of the ladies said it was for coverage. The other one said it was medium. So doesn't matter it does have a pump and let's see I've been wanting to try this foundation for a minute it's a little thick she a little thick I'm just gonna do a dab um, it's got an odd smell hmm that's weird don't want to put too much because I don't know what she gonna do um, that's my brush here, and yeah, that's a weird smell. If you are new to my channel, um, I always match my foundation to my chest because you can see my chest and my um, face are two different colors. Like, yeah. Like it's not the mass me there. <laughs> it's still there. That smell is kind of. It's definitely an odd smell. So that's the first layer. You see, my chest and my face are starting to look like they are slightly related. And I'm just using what I have on the back of my hand. For any of you that wear like an I, or I, iPhone, I watch. Is it I watch? Yeah. Don't you hate when the thing, as soon as you sit down after five minutes, okay, stand up, time to get moving again. I'm like, dang, I just sat down. Like, what? I know I'm moving a lot. I know I'm moving a lot. I mean, I think I'm moving a lot. It knows. It knows. I wanted something that was light and not too heavy. It's definitely not full coverage. It's definitely not full coverage. Um, um, I'm going to try one more pump. Because I can always shear it out if I feel like it's too much. If you ever put too much on, then just get you... Um, a makeup sponge and damp it and then just kind of go over it just kind of thin it out a little bit just want to see what she can do that smell is just like once it's on your face you don't smell it but I know this is pretty sensitive and you notice I didn't put any up under my eyes because I'm saving that for my concealer. My matches. Oh, I didn't even say what color I was in. 
See, I, I am really tripping. What color is this? Golden Almond, which is 6.75. I know y'all probably can't see that, but um, it's Golden Almond 6.75. Um, I'm not really neutral. I used to think that I was, but I'm not. Um, you ever see a picture of yourself? It's like, dang, my face look yellow, my chest look red. Like, I've done that. So I've been learning how to mix and match. Like, if I buy a foundation that's too yellow, then I'll mix it with something that's a little red, uh, for example. This uh, Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation by... Who is this by? Oh... I say pure. I say who it was by. Jesus Christ. And then this um, Charlotte Tilbury. See how this one is like really yellow. This is really red. I'll blend those two because never shall a foundation go to waste. This is some water. Just I like to spray my sponge so I can have it handy. The Too Faced Born This Way. Two different concealers. One's a little lighter. One's in chestnut. And Oh shoot. They both chestnut. How are they both chestnut? It is. This is what I was looking for. Now that's clearly a difference. So chestnut and warm sand. So now the thing with um, placement is here, here, and then up. Because it's supposed to lift our face, right? Nose, and then just some there but yeah lift lift the face I'm a little brighter so I'm just gonna add just a little here I like this because I can get up in those corners and then I can go this way and out and then bring it around and just blend it out Like literally spread it out. I know I look crazy right now. I'm gonna go in with my sponge and finish. See, this is another one of my empties. It's completely out. Um, this is the Lancome tint. It's a, a stick foundation, but I use it to contour. contour brush my favorite favorite contour brush <clears throat> of all time there she is this is the one by Huda Beauty love it like I don't even want to contour if I don't have this like for real <laughs> it just takes the work out of it of course I'm gonna blend it out but this is already shaped see it's just shapes like so. So I'm going to contour up. My face is generally oval, but now it's like an oval round shape. <laughs> For now. I don't like to lose too much weight in my face because when I do start to lose weight, it comes out of my face and I don't... I like my face to look a little fuller. Well, it's giving me fullness now. But it's okay if it is. It's okay. Um... You know what I'm saying? You can go in with your brush and just kind of bust stuff out. Like if you feel like you've done too much or too much going on, because I need to go in there and cut that. Let's go more harder. Nice. Um, the Maybelline Fit Me in shade 30. Best powder of all time. Perfect shade of everything. Put it in the cap. 
in and press. This is why it's good to moisturize your skin before, like really moisturize your skin before you start putting your foundation and stuff on because just adding this powder is gonna suck it out and you wanna be able to maintain some moisture. I don't keep this on here too long. Like I put it on there and then I just literally take it back off. So powder brush and then I'm gonna use my um, setting powder and this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark. I'm gonna use this to take the powder off. See this, I have to watch because it'll set like really fast. Before I finish my face, I need to finish my under eye, and so I'm going to put some eyeliner on. For eyeliner, I'm using the Pat McGrath Labs eyeliner, and this is in the color Coffee. Um, so it's not so dramatic, it's not jet black, but it's enough where you can kind of get a little definition under here. Um, Jackie Ina recommended this and I've been using it. I've been using it ever since. I actually really like it a lot. Everything that I did on top, I'm going to do at the bottom. I'm going to start with the darkest of that color. And I'm just going to smoke it out under there. Gotta complete the look. You gotta go up under here. You have to complete the look. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty um, bronzer and mocha mommy. Do, 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 do. It's okay. Big fluffy brush. Big fluffy brush. Bring it out to the red of cross. Um, it's okay. Definitely need some work. My eyebrows gonna use some work, but that's okay. Let's spray. Let's spray. Let's spray this powder down. Um, using the Mac Pep Pep Prep and Prime. Then I'm gonna go in with the Jacqueline Heel. Um. This is the one in the flare, which is for the darker skin tones. Um, it is one of my favorites, I ain't gonna lie. You even got the cute little brush to go with it. It's looked better. Um, I'm gonna go find some lipstick and pop a wig on and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Found me a wig, found me a little top. It's like, you know, too little, but you know, I was still able to get it on because it's like stretchy for Fashion Nova. It's got long sleeves. It's cute. Um, cute little wig. 50 bucks. Um, yeah, so what I did for my lips, I ended up using the, what is this, the Juvia's Place, this nude, and this is called Muted. I'm going to be using that on my lips, along with the Fenty, um, what is this, the little Fenty Gloss Bombs. I put this over it, and this is in the color Hot Chocolate. Those Fenty Bombs are amazing. I'll link that video so you can kind of see how all the little Fenty Glosses look on deeper skin, like ours or mine or yours or whoever's watching it but yeah this is a final look 
I think I'm okay. I'm happy with it. I'm not like 10 happy with it because I think some of my techniques are a little rusty. But overall, I am happy with it. Um, as I said in the beginning, thank you guys for coming to my channel. Thank you for sticking with me. And to all my new subscribers, welcome. And thank you again for subscribing to my channel. Um, yes, you will start to see frequent uploads from me. I don't know how frequently, like maybe not two or three times a week, but at least weekly you guys will be hearing from me. So again, thanks for sticking with me and I will definitely be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye. I know guys, this is like random. I was about to take my makeup off. I actually just took my lashes off, but I wanted you to see how this foundation looks just without the extra lights. This is, um, need more or less in front of my window with a little right little light on my camera but yeah that way you can kind of like see texture it's not so muted but yeah get back in there get back in there get back in there but yeah would you see how it looks like in just like regular light